Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm teaming up with my friend Sherry from Pretty Simple Sherry and we are doing some fun luxury home decor DIYs for you. If you want to see what Sherry made, I will link her channel down below so you can go and check her video out and see what she did for our little collaboration. With that being said, let's get started on this video. Now I'm grabbing my Tiffany and Coke box and this box measured six and a half inches by about three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the box over on its side and actually take the cap and put it to the side. I will not be doing anything with that top cap. Here I'm just measuring about an inch from each side for my opening. These boxes are a lot stronger than they actually look, so use a really strong X-Acto knife or some kind of a cutter to make that opening. Once your opening is done on top of the box, just grab some floral foam and hot glue it to the box. For the florals, I highly recommend using some white florals with elegant green leaves, not dark green, just because that Tiffany blue works so lovely with white and light colors. Next, I'm just cutting down my florals to the size that I want them to be and always start with longer and you can always cut them down shorter if you need to in the long run. Since no Tiffany box is complete without the white ribbon, I'm grabbing the ribbon that came with this box and first I just used my flat iron to straighten out any wrinkles in the ribbon. Then I'm just starting in the back, I'm hot gluing the ribbon to the top of the box and our project is complete. I think it looks absolutely elegant and beautiful. Okay, so I'm starting with this frame that I got that Dollar Tree. It's 8 by 10. And I'm going to paint it probably about two coats of Rust Oleum white chalk paint. The bag that I'm using is a vintage Louis Vuitton bag and I wanted to frame it. But because it did not fit in the frame, what I'm doing is I'm just measuring how much I need to cut off on the sides and I'm just cutting off the excess. And then we're going to cut this one also. 
and the reason for that is I want the tat this to kind of fold over but the thing is the one in the back is the one that kind of is doing the job nicely kind of laying down like this so I'm actually going to get rid of this one because it's going to be a little bulky with it and I'm only doing the edges because I don't want the, the hot glue to show up on here Now I'm just going to be using these peonies from the Dollar Tree and I will be hot gluing them to the top of the picture frame and they are going to look like they are coming out of the bag. Now I'm just taking my white frame, fitting it around the peonies, and just locking it in place in the back. I'm using a little Louis Vuitton uh, shopping bag and a vase and some sort of a bouquet of flowers that is definitely up to you so I'm going to start by just cutting along the edge of the bag there is cardboard in here so we are going to separate this because otherwise it's not going to bend well depending on the size of your vase you can either put your sign vertically or horizontally I chose to put my sign vertically and because of this, I just fold it at the top and at the bottom to make sure that my sign fits perfectly inside the vase. If you want to, you can use some of um, the other paper to put it behind. But I think when you put florals in, it's not going to show. So what I'm going to do now, because this keeps on kind of folding in you want to do something for it to stay open at the bottom so I'm simply going to grab a shopping bag stick it in the bottom and just open that up there you go it's not going to show from the front but you're gonna keep it open next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the one of the handles and I'm just flat ironing to get the wrinkles out so this keeps um, flat I'm going to have this going the full length of um, the vase and I'm just rounding it off the edge because I want as much of this in here as possible and here is my strip right here In the end, after I tried putting the vase in my home, I just thought the, the other floor, just they were a little too much. So I decided just to go with magnolias that I had. And it actually worked out really nice. I think the magnolias look really good with this, um, with this Louis Vuitton. Just with the whole thing, I think it really complements it.
Well, what did you guys think? Let me know down below which one was your favorite. From the bottom of my heart, I do want to thank you for spending some time with me today and watching this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.